Okay. Uh, blue spring, foot bar is down. We're gonna stand on the platform, balls of the feet on the platform, and we're gonna start in a plank, extended arm plank. Hands are midway through the uh, carriage. Push out to your plank, heels back. Ankles are about a fist distance apart. Tuck the pelvis toward the chin, lengthen the crown of the head forward. And we're gonna push forward at our toes and back. Don't push with your arms, push through the feet. Lock in your shoulders, scoop out your armpit. Just a little back and forth, find your big toe. Don't roll out on your, onto your pinkies. Belly's lifted, ribs closed, shoulders down. Four, three, two, and we're gonna meet up with the heels back. Hold that plank, now bending through the knees, come into your tabletop. Don't go past where your hips and knees are vertical. Exhale, lengthen. Exhale, lengthen. Lift up in the chest to fill out the space between the shoulder blades. Keep shifting your weight into your feet. Four. Three, two, and we're going to meet up in that tabletop, hold tabletop, long straight back, knees and hips are vertically aligned, go down, little up, just about two inch range of motion, lower belly engages, four, three, two, Last one, push back out to plank, hold it there, eight, seven, six. Weights back in your feet, tuck your pelvis, lift your belly, close your ribs. Last two, and one, bring it in. Take a little high hip child's pose. Good, coming back up. Our finger and thumb are on either side of the shoulder block. Same thing, you're on your toes on the platform. Push out the plank. Tuck the pelvis, lift the belly, close your ribs. We're pushing out with our hands, scooping the armpit, pulling it. Breathe, I use the breath. Don't do the work in the neck and the shoulders. Engage the lats. Your core, four, three, two, that's one, out and then back in, hold that plank. Alrighty, we're putting back in the tabletop, we walk back out to stack, middle top pull. Don't drop that hip, pulling with that resting leg. Let's do one more time, each side. Push back out to plank. Hold it there, five, four, Three, two, and one. Get it. High hip child's pose. Thread your right arm through, spiral, but lengthen through the torso. Other side. And bring it up. Good. Stay facing this direction for the next exercise, but switch to a yellow spring. So blue off, yellow on. 
And Kathy, you might need some extra padding here. We're coming on to one knee, one foot. One foot is on the headrest in between the shoulder blocks. Keep that back foot lifted, not so you're on the point of your knee, so you don't hit that platform. So you're engaging that supporting glute and hamstring. Fingers facing down. We push back as if you're wading through water. Open through the chest. Shoulders back down, keeping the ribs closed. Three. Now, if you want a short loop, go to a long loop. Last one. Rotate your hands. Come up to bicep curl. Elbows lifted. Chest is lifted. And shoulders are down. Neck is long. Five, six. Tina. Transition, hold that bicep curl straight up to the ceiling with the fingertips. Four, now lifting with the shoulders. Five, and one. Bring it down carefully. Stabilize. Make sure your knee and your foot are not tight roping, but that you have them separated in line with your hips. Chest expansion. Oh my God. A cacophony of leaf blowers and dogs. Four. Three. I'm going to pause for a second. Okay. So assuming we all finish that. <laughs> Stay up on your knees. We're going to cross our cables. Choke up on our hardware. The tops of your feet are pressed into the carriage. We're going to hinge back, right? So your shoulders are, are behind your knees. Pulling into a simple row. Engage the lats. The elbows. Pull with the elbows. The shoulders, the elbows, and the wrists are in a diagonal position with one another. Chest is lifted, shoulders down. Don't do the work in the neck. Four. Three. Two. Adding a little movement to it. We sit, not all the way, don't touch. Exhale, push as you pull back. Engaging the lats. Engaging the glutes, engage the pelvic floor. Let's do six. 
Don't work the trap muscles. Keep noticing if you're putting your neck into it. Four. Three. And one. And we're sitting down. And if you don't like sitting on your knees like this, um, uh, slide your legs forward into the, uh, in between the shoulder blocks. Let's go back to the top of the cloth, to the very top of the loop. Roll your shoulders back. We're gonna do single cross cable diagonal roll, uh, row. So pull back with your elbow. Lift up. So don't collapse into your feet. You want your pelvic floor lifting, sit bones narrowing. Lift from the crown of the head, longer, taller. Let's do four more each side. Three. And last one each side. Shoulders down. Good. Both arms. French doors. Three. Two. And last one. Beautiful. Alrighty. I'm going to turn around. Go to a yellow spring. Are we on a yellow spring? We're on a yellow spring. Turn around. Okay, you have an option. You can sit with your legs crossed like that. I'm going to sit like this because if you're on your knees, we're going to add some movement. So let's reach back and get the uh, long black straps. So don't sit down on your heels. Stay lifted so your quads and your glutes are engaged. We're going to push through to service. Sit back down. Don't collapse. Don't lose it. Four. Three. Work out of your shoulders and neck. Two. Stay up there on this last one. Hold it there. Flip around. Wonder Woman arms. Pitching forward. Four finger thumb triangle. Tricep bend and extend. Don't flatten your hands to the wall. Hands face down on the floor. Keep that cable. Off your shoulders, so you're not dragging more on your shoulders. We'll do five more. Ribs are closed, belly's lifted, pelvic floor is engaged. Last three, two, and we're going in a circle. So Wonder Woman extension, flip your palms around, elbows come back, sit down, open tree hugger. Palms up, elbows back. Big circle tree hugger. Four more. Three. Shoulders down. Feel the engagement from the base of the pelvic floor to the crown of the head. Eyes are straight ahead. Last one. Stay here, tree hugger. Open and close. Six. Five, keep the contraction in the chest. Don't hyperextend. Last three. Two. And one. Bring it down. Beautiful. Okie dokie. We're going to go back to the blue spring. Foot bar at the lowest, on the lowest row.
Okay, heel to the hand or on the foot bar. Curl the toes under at the shoulder blocks. Wrists are directly underneath the shoulders. Push out if you don't like the blue spring. Go to a yellow. It'll give you more support. Okay, pulling the knees in just underneath the hips. Push back out. Keep your arms still. Your shoulders stacked over the wrists. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And back into our plank push-up movement. We push back. Scoop out the armpit. Pull forward. Don't go so far back that you can't connect. Pull forward. Four more. With that pelvis tucked. Belly lifted. Ribs closed. Widen through the shoulder blades. Last two. And last one. Good. Good. Walk it back. Your child's pose. Arms on the foot bar. Pressing the chest through. Little arch extension. Okay. Let's go to. Let's go to one red. Your foot bar. The second rung, the middle rung. And here you have the option of going to the top rung if you feel like the geometry works better for you. Okay? Knees together, squeeze the inner thigh. We're going to so bend at the waist to find your hand on that foot bar and then lift that outside knee. So you come into a side plank. Outside arm stays along the body. Push out. Scoop, lift in this armpit. Engage the obliques. Feel your torso. Zip to that midline. And if you need more support on the spring, add a blue. I don't think we can go to two yellow. We can do more. Okay. Upper arm comes out. Exhale, scoop your left in. Scoop your left in. Let's do two more. Get your neck aligned with the spine. And in. Beautiful. Just turn around. Squeeze your inner thigh, sit bones, by that foot bar as you hinge over. Zip up in the glute, in the um, um, obliques. Pushing out, really scoop up and lift in that armpit while you're keeping that shoulder down. Three. Two. And let's extend our outer arm up. Three. Two, now pulling on the foot bar. And last one. Bar down, keep your red spring on, and let's get our jump board. Um, I think if you want to 
body, lift up it in the pelvis, explore it, close the ribs, up to the hands on the hip, and jump forward and push up. Don't let your carriage crash in. Use the elbows, chest lifted, shoulders down. push-ups, bring that carriage in, squeeze all the way up. If the blue spring is too light, go to a yellow. Five. Four. Three. Belly lifted, the ribs closed. Last one, let's switch right away. Left hand. Stopping for a second. We're on our right side. Elbow, forearm is in front of the shoulder blocks. Why you stay lifted in the waist? If you really hate this position, you can come down on your elbow, but the tendency is there that we collapse in there into our side. Okay, so you do have a choice, but your right hip is back and toward the bottom of the carriage, so you can lengthen out through the torso. Right leg is supporting on the carriage. Reach out to that straight left leg. Okay, find that position where your left hip is stacked right over your right. You're lifted up. You're not collapsing your shoulder. You're lifted up. Okay, and we're going to do our little tiny faux jumps, just pushing through your foot. My knee is not bending. But longer in the torso, just pushing through the foot. Six, five, four, three, two, full jump. Bring it in. Exhale, lengthen, full jump. Torso lifted. Four. Focus on that support the right hip. All right, adding pendulum as you jump. We go forward and back. Make sure that leg stays straight as it goes forward and pushes back. Work fast enough so that that foot comes underneath the hip to land. Six. Four, three, two. All right, next one back where we started. Straight leg, push out. Turn your toes down, heels up. Rotate that hip, lift back up in the torso. Jumping through the foot with your toes down, your heel up. Four. Belly lifted, shoulders down, long neck. Six, five, four, last transition coming up. All right, this one, we full bend the knee. We flex, lift that heel. Flex, lift that heel. It's a tiny lift. Don't wag in the torso, don't collapse. Five, four, 
three, two, and last one. Beautiful. Bring it in. Carefully sit up straight. Keeping that right leg underneath you. We're going to stack ankles and knees in our least favorite stretch. Flexing both feet to keep your ankles straight. Ooh, hurts. <laughs> shoulders down, make sure your neck is relaxed. Square your shoulders and torso. Okay, we're not done with that leg. Last thing here. Coming on to all threes. Holding on to the pegs or your hands can be in front of the shoulder blocks, whichever you prefer, right? Supporting right leg, left leg, extends. Square your hips, so notice if you're hiking, lifting up, notice if you're collapsing in. Square those hips, your weight's on that supporting shin, the top of the shin. Now we're gonna push through the foot the same way. Keeping that leg straight as you push, Lengthening as you go through. Shoulders down. Notice if your shoulders have come forward of your elbows. Sit back into that supporting hip. Five. Four. Three. Last transition here. We bend, we come all the way in. We jump, pull your knee in, extend that leg to land. Last eight. Angel landing on the platform. Shoot that leg out. Last four. Three. Two. And last one. And let's bring it in. Beautiful. Alrighty, bring that left leg forward onto the headrest. Flex the foot. Think of arching your back, ribs close, and hinge into that hip. Pull that left hip back as you push your right hip forward. Our tendency will be to hike that left hip forward. Good. When you're ready, bring it up. Let's go to the other side. Forearm is in front of the shoulder blocks. Lengthen your torso out. Extend through that right leg. Look we'll at that lift, closing the ribs. And press through that foot. Squeeze the leg straight. Make sure you're not leaning into that shoulder. Six, five, four, three, two, and pendulum as we bend full in, pendulum forward, get that leg down underneath you. Two, six, five, Four, three, two, and last one. Push back out. Rotate your toes down, your heel up. Push that hip on top and work through the foot there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All the way jump. A little lift of the heel. Don't collapse in the rib cage. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Get off that shoulder. Five, four, three, two. And one. And let's bring it in. Good. Stack 
Bring ankles and knees. <sighs> Lengthen through the torso, square the shoulders. Good. You ready? Coming up on the all threes. Send through that right leg. Get that squared hip position first. Pressing through the foot. And again, make sure your shoulders are not forward of your elbows. Your weight is not pushing into your elbows. Your weight is in that supporting leg. Five. Four. Three. Two. And let's bend it in. Back knife in. Send that leg. Six. Five. Four. Shoulders down. Weight is in that supporting leg. Lift it up in the belly and the ribs. Long leg, shoot that leg out. Last one. Now let's bring it in. Draw that right leg forward. Flex your foot. Shoulders down, long neck. Exhale, hinging forward. And let's bring it in. Good, sitting on the carriage. Butterfly stretch, soles of the feet together. Push them as far forward as you can between the shoulder blocks. Sit back as far as you can, but still on the carriage. Sitting up nice and tall, use those shoulder blocks to pull your chest forward as you hinge in a straight back. Right, coming up, scoop, so narrow in the pelvis, hollow out in the belly, little dolphin dive with the crown of the head, and using the shoulder blocks to increase that fold without losing the lift in the abdomen. And let's come up, lengthen through that hinge, and up, and go into motion. Narrow, hollow, dolphin dive down, extend up. Three more here. Two. Last one. And we reverse, hinge forward. Exhale, scoot, narrow the pelvis as you round, push into that hollowed out back and up. Hinge, so really use the shoulder rests to increase the range of motion. Up. Three more. Hinge. Exhale, scoot. You want to feel your sit bones reach toward one another as you hollow out and scoot. Hinge, hollow out. And scoop. Beautiful. Extend your left leg in between the shoulder rest, bending that right leg. Sit up nice and tall. Spiral toward the right. Crown of the head to the sky. Energy out of that left leg. And bring it center, switch. Good. Alrighty, we're gonna go to a red seat.
spring. Come on our back. Parallel feet, ankles, knees, thighs together. Imprint. We'll close the ribs. So really feel your torso long and your spine imprinted on that carriage. Arms are by your side. Squeezing your ankle bones together. Keep your legs straight and we push through the feet here. Notice if you're distending your belly. Notice where the work is coming from. Want to use the inner, inner thigh, pelvic floor. So lift through the torso as you feel the explosion of energy out of your feet. Four, three, two, then we'll lift up, 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 five, four, three, two, and one. And bring it in. Pivot on your heels. Narrow V. Imprint. Hollow out. Push through the feet. Five, four, three, two, lift up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up. Okay, let's go to a red, a yellow, and a blue. back down. Okay, if the spring load feels too heavy, take the blue off, or you can just start with a red and a yellow. Okay, we're pushing out. Ankles, knees, thighs together again. Same thing here. Imprint. Engage your glutes. Lengthen through the legs. Come in. Up on the toes. Push back down to the heels. Four, three, two, next one. As you come in, stay on your toes. Squeeze your ankle bones together, inner thighs together, lengthen through the legs. Stay high on those toes. Shoulders are down, neck is long. Jaw is relaxed. Five, four, three, two, and we meet up with our legs straight. Squeeze the ankles and our thigh together. Heel taps down, up, down, up, up. Accent is up, up, up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, and bring it in. Good, rotate, narrow V, heels together, toes at the top of the jump board. We push out to straight leg, push into the heels, lengthen through the legs, pulling the toes back, so accentuate that flexing. And then, I forgot to do something on the other one. Five, four, three, two, this one. Stay high in the toes, lengthen, squeeze. Check your alignment, check your ribs, check that your neck is relaxed. Five, four, we're 
We're gonna meet with our legs extended all the way, heel taps. Down, up, down, up. Glutes are engaged, sit bones squeeze together, ribs zip to the midline, shoulders down. Five, four, three, two. Let's meet at the top, a little prance through. One, the other, the other, the other. Accent here is the heel that taps to the foot by the jump board. Four, three, two, both heels are high, squeeze your heels together, come in halfway, right? Little out, in, out, in, out, in, eight, seven, six, And let's hold it here so your carriage is halfway in. Press the right heel to the jump board. The left, the right, the left. Keeping the carriage still. Five, four, three, three. Alrighty, both heels down in the jump board. So bring the carriage in or out as far as you need to. Both heels are there. A little push out four inches and in. Out, in, out. In five, four, three, two. Carriage is halfway. Come parallel, external. Parallel, external. Pivoting on the heels. Five, four, three, two. Last one. We meet up parallel. In and out there. Squeeze the ankles and knees together. Narrow to the pelvis, five, four, three, two, hold it midway, heels up, 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 eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, let's meet up both heels high, prancing there, one heel and the other, keeping the carriage still, five, four, three, Two, let's meet up both heels high. Take the carriage all the way out to close in motion and bring it in. Good, shake it up. Okay, rolling to the side. We're going to change our spring load. We're going to take the yellow off so you're blue and a red. Coming back down onto our back. Take the carriage all the way out. Right leg comes tabletop, left leg is nice and, and lengthened. Square the hips. That little bit of imprint on the lower back, let's go there. Arms are long down by our side. And we're gonna single leg jump here. Work through that left foot and landing. Toe ball heel. Creating that little bit of resistance to lighten the land. Five, four, three, two, and next one we land on our right. Same thing. Four, three, two, and last one. Bring it in. Both feet are on the jump board. Take it all the way out. Externally rotate. Right leg tabletop. External rotation. That left leg keeps that external rotation as we jump there. Spraying the, heel, uh, the hips. Don't let that left heel stray. Put right underneath your sit bone. Five, four, three, two, the next one, we switch our landing. Square the hips. Right heel is right underneath the sit bone. Five, four, three, two, and one. And let's bring it in. Yeah, let's shake it out. Knees to the chest. Happy baby. Let's 
Extended B, flex through the feet. And bring it back in. Okay, leave your spring load as it is. Holding on to the pegs behind. Make sure you have a little room between your shoulders and the shoulder blocks. Okay? Just gonna roll through our spine a little. So, imagine imprint laying down those traps of the vertebra on the carriage, slowly peeling off, only a little bit, laying back down. Come back where your knees are over your hips. Go off and lay down. So here, you can start with your arms down by your side if you want. It's going to point out when you start to put your shoulders and your neck and your jaw into the motion. If you're here, keep those elbows as wide as possible and the hands relaxed. If you're holding on, don't get a death grip and just find the range of motion where you feel the engagement of the abdominals supporting that lift of the back. Good, next one. We're gonna open to 45. Then curl, open. Find the range of motion that works for you. Again, your arms can be down by your side. Sometimes it's a more honest expression of where our abdominals and our back are. Good, keep your legs straight this time. Lift up and over, just parallel to the ground. Roll down, open, 45. Hollow out. Two more times. So again, stay within whatever range of motion. You can stay with your knees bent through this whole thing. All right, next one, as we roll over, parallel with the ground, lower your feet, stay supported, hollowed out. Roll down from there, keeping your legs as close to your face as possible. Unfolding, shoulders down, 45. Exhale. Ribs are closed. One more like that. All right, adding on this time. So again, keep doing that if it feels good. Lower our feet, we come up to the ceiling. Lower our feet, roll down, and five. with our feet to the sky. Lower your right leg. Left leg goes to the sky more. Come back up. Lower the right, uh, the left leg. Right leg reaches higher. Roll down, staying vertical. Again, this is breath. Right 
Both legs up. Left leg down. Right leg down. Feet up. Rolling down, staying as vertical as possible. 45 degrees, let's meet up there. Hold that 45. Imprint, heavy torso, close the ribs. Hold it five. Four. Three. Two. And one. And bring it in, knees to the chest. Take a little rock back and forth. Happy baby. Extended V, flex and point, circles, verse, good. Pointed toes, little beat beats to the sky, beat beat, flex to open, point up, beat beat, flex, beat beat. Let's do four more. Three, shoulders down, ribs are closed, spine is long. And last one, let's heat up, flex through the feet, heavy legs. Windmill, right leg comes forward, left leg extends for that far wall, holding on to anywhere, the back of the thigh, calf, or ankle. Curl your upper body up and reach through. Switch. Switch. Imprinting that back. Switch. Four. Three. Two. Last transition here. Release both legs 45, hands back behind the head. Hold that imprint. Hold it eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the knees to the chest. Let's roll to the side and hop. All right, let's take our jump board off. Tall. Try and drop that right hip down toward the carriage. Square the shoulders, find the outside of the shoulder blocks or your shin or thigh. Open up through the chest as you spiral, getting taller. Okay, unwind. Heel of the left hand is on that foot bar. Coming up and over. Really lift through the ribs, shoulders down, 
Trying to drop that right hip six times, controlling the carriage in and out. As we arc over, spiral facing the open well, heels and hand on the foot bar, lengthen to the torso, try and drop that right hip still, six little push-ups. On that sixth one, let's meet up, arms are straight, push down into your chest, and arch extend up, scooping out the armpit, increasing that rotation in the, in the lower back. Exhale, arch down. And arch up. Crown of the head reaches to the sky. Let's do three more. Pressing through the chest, shoulders down, 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 down. Last one. As we press down, walk that left hand to the center of the foot bar, come back into that arch. Hold it there for a split second, reaching, and scoop and lift up. Holding on again, outside of the shoulder blocks. Spiral around. And unwind. Let's go to the other side. Okay. Try and drop that inside hip first, squaring the shoulders, lengthen through the neck, outside of the shin, the hip, or the shoulder blocks. Spiral lift. Open to the chest, shoulders press down. Good, unwind, heel with the right hand on the foot bar. Lift and arc over, still trying to drop that hip, close the ribs. And six times in and out, controlling the carriage with that supporting arm. Don't just let the carriage crash in. Three. And this last one, we meet up in our arc. Spiral facing the open well. Press your shoulders down and drop that left hip back and push ups in and out. Long neck, crown of the head is reaching forward. Three. Two. And let's meet up on this next one. Arms are straight. Press through with your chest. Bring the shoulders down. Still trying to drop that left hip. Arch. Lead with the chest and the crown of the head. Pull out and up. Three more.
Next one, we meet up. Arms are extended. Walk that right hand to the middle of the foot bar. Arcing back over. Increase that arch extension and lift up your ankle. Beautiful. Let's put a yellow and a blue spring on. Coming on to our backs. We're in the long black straps. Forty-five degrees, externally rotated, flex through the feet, heels squeeze together, and little froggy pull. Heels come toward the pelvis. Ribs are closed, reaching through those legs. Flex extend, and now pointing as we reach long straight leg point. Flex in. And point. Four. Three. Two. And this next time, as we pull in, we go into full froggy. Open to that B. Close the heels together. Find a range of motion in the hip. Try and stabilize through the torso. Three. Two. Let's reverse. Open B. Flexing in, push through that midline. Heels come together. Four. Three. Two. And just the bottom of the circle, opening your B. Flexing, pulling those heels together. Last three, ribs are closed, shoulders down, neck is long. Again, this time as you open, go straight into circles. And the shoulder anchored. And lower back still, so you're not rocking to the pelvis. Two more. And last one, 45 degrees, parallel feet, walk in the park. One knee bends and scoot down. That bent leg, that foot, as it digs down, you can feel the lower abdominals engage if you want to rock all the way up. Two more times, each side. We're gonna meet up, flat back, 90 degree legs. Little toe lifts. Six. Five, no work in the neck and shoulders. Last two. Last one, come all the way down. That tailbone is anchored. We start circles there. Two. 
And last circle. Let's open up to our extended V. And then cables either support or increase that stretch. Cable assist pulling into butterfly, soles of the feet together. Pull those heels up toward your pelvis. 